How's it going movie fans? While many of the characteristics needed to be a wrestler, capable of connecting with an audience, are also required to be a hit in the acting world, there have been few true success stories when it comes to stars of the squared circle transitioning onto the silver screen. But for decades, wrestlers have been trying their luck, and while there have certainly been plenty of missteps, sometimes through hard work or a stroke of good fortune, wrestlers find themselves in great films. Here are the Firewall's top 10 movies of wrestlers turned actors. At number 10 is John Wick. In this action thriller, a talented and feared hitman is forced out of retirement when a chance encounter with the son of a gangster results in a terrible event taking place. Kevin Nash, aka Diesel of WWE and WCW fame, plays Francis, a bodyguard for the crime family. The running time is 101 minutes, and John Wick has the firewall rating of 8.1 out of 10. At number 9 is Deadpool 2. Anyone familiar with late 90s WWE may recognise Robert Mallet from his Kurgan character, a member of the Truth Commission, and later the Oddities. Otherwise, you may recognise him from this anti-hero sequel, where he played Sluggo, a mutant mercenary in prison with Deadpool. The running time is 119 minutes, and Deadpool 2 has the firewall rating of 8.1. At number 8 is Spider-Man. If you don't know who Macho Man Randy Savage is, then I'm not sure what you're doing here. But even those who don't know of Savage's decades of success with WWE and WCW will surely have noticed him in Sam Raimi's first Spider-Man film as wrestler Bonesaw McGraw. The running time is 121 minutes, and Spider-Man has the firewall rating of 8.1. At number 7 is Goldfinger. Harold Sakata, or Toshiyuki Sakata, worked as a wrestler under the name Tosh Togo from 1949 into the 1970s. He was cast to play Oddjob, the bodyguard to Auric Goldfinger, due to his stature and intimidating stare. And with that, he became an icon of the Bond franchise. The running time is 110 minutes, and Goldfinger has the firewall rating of 8.6. At number 6 is The Wrestler. This drama tells the story of an aging wrestler who struggles with his personal life outside of the ring, and despite being past his prime, is still willing to take the hits in the squared circle. Ernest the Cat Miller, who worked for WCW and WWE, plays wrestler the Ayatollah. The running time is 109 minutes, and The Wrestler has the firewall rating of 8.6. At number 5, is Raiders of the Lost Ark. British wrestler Pat Roach, whose first wrestling match came in 1960, appeared not only in Raiders of the Lost Ark, but also in the Temple of Doom and the Last Crusade. In Raiders, he actually plays two characters, a Sherpa and a German Luftwaffe mechanic. The running time is 115 minutes, and Raiders of the Lost Ark has the firewall rating of 8.7. At number 4 is Guardians of the Galaxy. Dave Bautista's transition from the world of wrestling to Hollywood has certainly been one of the more successful ones, with multiple appearances in the MCU as Drax the Destroyer. He signed with the WWE in 1999 and retired from the company in 2019. The running time is 121 minutes, and Guardians of the Galaxy has the firewall rating of 8.7. At number 3 is The Princess Bride. I don't think I need to explain too much about the iconic Andre the Giant, who became a star in the WWWF, which later became the WWF. His career spanned almost 30 years from 1964 to 1992. In this film, he plays Fezzik, who is hired to kidnap the princess. The running time is 98 minutes, and the Princess Bride has the firewall rating of 8.8. .8. At number 2 is Mad Max Fury Road. Nathan Jones' wrestling career ran from 2001 to 2005. He wrestled for World Wrestling All-Stars and WWE. In Mad Max Fury Road, Jones plays Rictus Erectus, the son of antagonist Immortan Joe, both of whom go after Max and Furiosa. The running time is 120 minutes, and Mad Max Fury Road has the firewall rating of 8.9. At number 1 is The Godfather. Lenny Montana had a 20-year wrestling career between 1953 and 1972, wrestling with NWA and AWA. He can be seen in The Godfather playing Luca Brasi, the personal enforcer for Don Vito Corleone. The running time is 175 minutes, 
and The Godfather has a firewall rating of 9.6. Thanks for watching. Next week I'll be counting down the firewall's top 10 Richard Gear movies. Don't forget to subscribe for more top 10s and reviews.